Hi there, this is Dr. Siu Takwa. With more than half the world on lockdown, more and more people are complaining that they have been putting on weight and fat. So today in particular, we're going to focus on the type of fat known as visceral fat. Visceral fat is a type of body fat that is found in your abdominal cavity. It wraps around your internal organs such as the liver and intestines and stomach. This is in contrast to subcutaneous fat, which is the jiggly fat which you can pinch. Visceral fat is sometimes referred to as active fat because these fat cells do not only store energy but also produce inflammatory markers such as TNF-alpha and interleukin-6. Because of this, visceral fat has been linked to other diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer's disease and even certain cancers such as colorectal and breast cancers. For this reason, it is very important to bring down the visceral fat in our bodies, not only for aesthetic reasons but for health reasons as well. Because you cannot see or feel it, it is difficult to measure visceral fat. The only accurate way to measure it is via a CT scan or an MRI, but this is of course commonly not done. There is a rough way to measure it, looking at waist circumference. If your waist circumference is over 90 cm in men and 80 cm in women, then it is likely that you have excess visceral fat. This measurement refers to Asians. Another crude way is to simply look at yourself in the mirror. If you have a beer belly when you don't suck your stomach in, that is an apple shape with a thick body trunk and slimmer legs, it is likely that you have excess visceral fat. This kind of body shape is of course more common in men. Because we do not know exactly how to target visceral fat, many of the strategies to reduce this fat involves losing total body fat and weight loss. Therefore, weight loss drugs are commonly used. In Singapore, one of the only approved drugs is Duramin, which is an appetite suppressant. As with any weight loss program, lifestyle changes are very important. These include a healthy diet, physical exercise, and other modifications such as stopping smoking, sleeping better, and meditation. These are outside the scope of this video and I shall not elaborate further today. Of special note is steroid hormone therapies. This is used to correct the relative androgen deficiency in men and the estrogen deficiency in women. Because people with these deficiencies tend to pile on more visceral fat. However, these hormone therapies tend to come with their own side effects. For example, female hormone replacement therapy has been linked to certain types of cancers. So this has to be studied further and you have to have a very serious discussion with your doctor if you want to comment this. Until today, there have been no body contouring treatments which can reduce visceral fat. All of them, including fat freezing, target the pinchable subcutaneous fat. However, a treatment called Reduce Stim is set to change all of that. Reduce Stim is a treatment that reduces visceral fat through the concept of biostimulogy. A low frequency alternating magnetic field targets muscle cells and increases metabolism at the cellular level. Specifically, the magnetic field depolarizes the cell membrane and causes the cell to release calcium ions from the sacroplasmic reticulum inside the cell. Smooth muscle contraction then follows. When we say smooth muscle, we are referring to the muscle inside our abdomen that forms the wall lining of our organs such as the intestines and the stomach. After this, lipolysis or the breakdown of fat cells will occur. Researchers have found not only a reduction in visceral fat but subcutaneous fat as well. In addition, they found improvements in fatty liver and blood cholesterol. In one such study, researchers found that there was a 6 cm reduction in waist circumference, 8% reduction in visceral fat, and a 17% reduction in the liver enzymes AST and ALT. Obesity is a big problem in the world today. Although an increase in total body fat is associated with health risks, the increase in visceral fat is particularly worrying because visceral fat increase has been associated with serious comorbidities such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, sleep apnea, Alzheimer's and some form of cancers. For this reason, it is very important to treat visceral fat not only for aesthetic reasons but for health reasons as well.